I mean, the, the Supreme Court and the, the state courts certainly couldn't say, well, you're violating Roe versus Wade or you're doing any of this other stuff because you're not banning it, you're not prohibiting it. So just tax it, tax it out of availability. So you don't like abortion and you people or you sincere religious people think it's murder? Well, why are you playing a game? Why aren't you out there? All you need is 50% vote, which you have in the legislature. You have a 50% vote. So why don't you go ahead and do it? Go ahead, tax abortion, $5,000. All right, or well, it'd even be more than that. 800, to get to 800%, you probably have to go up to $10,000. So go ahead, tax abortions at $10,000. Okay, and that'll be fair, that'll be right. And we'll see if the rest of this idiotic asshole country sits there and thinks that makes sense and thinks that's the way we, that's the kind of country we want to have. We don't like what you're doing in your own living room or in your own lifestyle. We'll just tax it. Well, that's just bullshit. It's completely against the United States Constitution. If Thomas Jefferson were alive today, he would be appalled. He'd be disgusted. He'd be revolted. He'd be moving to France. He'd be saying, what the hell is wrong with you people? I gave you a constitution, I gave you these fundamental principles, and you spat on them. You said, screw the principles, I don't want to pay my taxes, so let me find somebody else to pay them. Now that's what it comes down to. People complain about their property taxes. People owning $800,000 houses are complaining because they got to pay $10,000 in property taxes, and they end up having three kids that end up paying $150,000 each to get them through school. They never even pay for their own kids, and they're complaining about their property taxes, paying $10,000. Well, guess what? I'm paying two grand just to smoke cigarettes in my own living room. And that's disgusting. It's appalling. It's grotesque. So anyway, I, you know, I want to get to the point. So the point is, I filed a lawsuit, you know, because I got stuck in this state trap. All right. Now, so it's bad enough the state has this tax, but then they let advertisers, you know, they're still in the newspapers, still in the newspaper today. You can find advertisements for for out-of-state cigarettes. Okay, and the state lets that go on. And it lets that go on because the newspapers are making money. And they don't want to keep the newspapers from making money off the tobacco ads. But it's appalling, it's disgusting, because it's a trap. Okay, so I bought some online cigarettes. All right, and, and uh, you know, yeah, okay, I might have been saying, okay, yeah, I'm avoiding New Jersey state taxes, but I knew I was paying taxes in Kentucky. So I was still paying $30 for my cigarettes, a carton, so I was still paying penny of money for them. All right, and so yeah, I did that, and and so then, uh, unbeknownst to me though, uh, the state of New Jersey was using a, a, a law passed in 1950 before people even had credit cards. Everybody anyway, before there was all this internet and this online shopping and all this you know mail order, and uh, uh, they used this old law, this thing called the Jenkins Act, that was created to stop distributors from trafficking illegal cigarettes, and so they used this law to to uh, uh, basically, without my consent or knowledge, without telling me they were doing it, as soon as I bought my cigarettes, the uh, company gave my purchase information to the state of New Jersey. <clears throat> and they did that within two weeks. But the state of New Jersey, you know, because it's inept and incompetent and insensitive and disgusting, whether Republicans or Democrats are controlling it, the bureaucracy is full of idiots. And these idiots took them eight months to get around to informing me that I owed some tax. Okay, and so then they start sending me bills eight months late, one bill at a time, right? So I'm getting these bills for $20, $30 each for each carton I bought for more tax to pay to New Jersey. And then these, these preposterous morons, they, 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 they didn't give me a total amount I owed, then they wanted me to send them 17 separate checks. And, and the worst part was, too, I was buying cigarettes for some neighbors who, you know, didn't have a credit card and are poor. And uh, so I wasn't, even, I wasn't even smoking half the cigarettes. But I certainly wasn't going to screw them over because the state screwed me over. I mean, I couldn't go up to them later and say, oh, well, you, you owe me a few hundred bucks because the state came and got me. You know, I can't be an asshole just because the state is an asshole. The state you created, the state you vote for, okay? It's your government, assholes. It's not the government. It's your government. You elected these fuckers. And so, well, anyway, so let's get to the point. So, so, okay, I got the tax bill. I said, well, this is bullshit. I mean, okay, I would have paid it if they would have told me right away that I owed the tax. 
because they wait 18 months. And know what the excuse was? Well, the person who was in charge of sending out the bills was on maternity leave. That was excuse number one. And when I pushed it, uh, the guy tells me, well, we could wait 10 years to send you the bill. And that really pushed me over the edge. That was it. That line. Uh, we could wait 10 years if we felt like it. That kind of arrogance. You know? What the hell is that? So you booby trap me. Uh, you, you, you can see that, that you've even sent a letter to the company saying they can't do business in the state of New Jersey anymore, and yet you're still going to persecute me, even though you didn't let me know you were, you were uh, without my consent, uh, uh, tracking my purchases. Uh, so, you know, and then you think I'm going to respect this system? You think I'm going to pay this? No. So, I, yeah, I filed an appeal. And so I ended up in tax court eventually. It took two years to get there, but I got there. I got to tax court. And this idiot judge, Judge Cuskin, you know, I'm raising these important constitutional issues, and this this moron, you know, I, let's see, let's see if I can come up with some words that aren't going to be a slander. He's an ignorant moron, uh, jackass, uh, Harvard graduate, no, you know, Harvard grad, you graduate from Harvard, and he can't understand these constitutional principles. Okay, so here's the issues I raised. The first issue was, yeah, okay. Taxation without representation. Obviously, cigarette smokers have no re representation in the legislature, and yet you're taxing them. Because only, and the only reason you're getting away with it is because they're a minority. And that's it. <clears throat> you couldn't do this to any majority vice because the majority would shove it right up your ass. Okay, so the only reason why you're getting away with it, the only reason why there isn't an 800 protection.